What's up fighters, Fumukadachi here, bringing you another DOA fight with commentary. And, as you all know, I've been spending more time working on fighters, characters that I'm either not really good with, I don't feel very strong, or just never really picked up and played with before. Uh, this is all just to increase my strength as a fighter in the Dead or Alive game, as well as just maybe coming across a fighter that I feel pretty strong or pretty good with, outside of just my main, which is Ayane. Uh, one fighter I felt like I picked up fairly well is actually Momiji. I really didn't expect it. I actually figured I'd be pretty bad and not do too well, but I actually had some really good fights, and I felt like I picked her up really easily without too much trouble, even having never really played her before. So, in tonight's fight, our online fellow is Indie Turtle as Bass. Hopefully by now most of you already know that Bass is easily one of my favorite fighters in the whole DOA world, and I'm pretty bad with him. But I can't help but feel really happy whenever I see anyone else picking up and playing him, even if they're kicking my butt. Now, Indie Turtle here, uh, I actually played him a couple days ago, and let's just say I became pretty well acquainted with the walls and floor. He's an exceptional best player, and I definitely hope he keeps it up. However, since I remembered this formidable foe, I definitely started off as aggressive as I could be, and tried to use what I had learned from Omiji as much as possible. And, luckily for me, it really seemed to work out for this first fight, and I actually managed to pull off a win for my first rematch against Indie Turtle. These kinds of fights, as well as fighters you meet during throwdowns, these are the ones that I really enjoy. They win a game, you win a game, you end up coming up against each other again, change up your fighters, and just keep going back and forth, and before you know it, the whole day is gone, but this fight has just begun. One thing I noticed happening a lot in this match also, if you can uh, notice it, was I kept jumping back on the wall like I was getting ready to attack, but nothing really seemed to happen when I would try to follow that up with another attack. I just kind of dropped down to the ground, so that's definitely something I need to work on as well. In this kind of matchup, you really got to be careful too. Momiji isn't exactly the fastest, and Bass is really strong if he can use any of his counters or throws. So I was doing my best to keep my distance, keep changing up my attacks, even though, granted, I only knew a, a handful of her combos. Actually, at one point after the match, I sent a message over to Indie Turtle about the match, apologizing if I was being a bit spammy with my attacks, but uh, they were actually really cool about it and even cheered me on. And that always feels really good, right fighters? Bass is pushing back hard during his elimination round, and it's easy to see just how powerful he can be. Just like that, I'm down more than 50% of my HP, but I'm doing my best to keep my distance and use critical stun hits to try and even out the hit points and to create a little distance between us as well. And with a couple exchanges back and forth, able to take the match. These were some really fun fights. And even like Momiji says here in the end, I really do feel like I'm becoming a stronger fighter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these fights, and as always, I hope to see you in game, and keep fighting fighters.